Hey guys, this is Derek with HPC, and I'm excited to show you the all new high output, high torque mid drive motor from Bafang. So, this is the M630, which is supposed to replace the M620, which is known as the Ultra Motor. We've been using the Ultra Motor for the last four plus years, and this is the most reliable and highest torque mid drive motor we've used on the market. So this is the one that replaces it. First impression, you can see just how much bigger it is. So the motor core seems like a lot bigger diameter, which should give it a good amount more torque. Just initially putting on the bike, it uses the exact same motor mount. Any Ultra bike you had, this will fit in it. It's just a lot bulkier, and you can see just the sheer mass of it. I mean, it looks a lot heavier than it actually is but it definitely sticks out on the bike and it, it has a, a new shroud to cover up the underside because this one is a lot smaller. So with that being said, here are my first impressions. As far as power goes, stock from the factory, both of these are the exact same theoretical wattage. So both have a 48 volt, 30 amp controller, which will push roughly 1400 to 1500 watts, depending on your battery. The M630 is supposed to have a much higher torque output. So we're talking 230 Newton meters compared to 160 Newton meters on the Ultra. My initial impression after riding this for a little bit is I can't really tell the difference. Uh, I'm still gonna do a full test on the dyno and all that just to see if it is in fact better, more torque or more efficient than the M620. Another thing about the M630, which should be better, is it has a higher IP rating. So if you're in wet environments or riding in water, this one should hold up better. But with that being said, we have seldom had any issues with the M620 in terms of water ingress or any of that stuff. I mean, we, this one is practically bulletproof, uh, hoping this stays the same. And if it, this offers better performance, we might switch. But so far, the M620, I mean, it's it's hard to beat, especially with the 2000 watt or 3000 watt systems. I will do a follow up with actual performance metrics after I test these side by side. And be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.